Welcome to another Pips and Chits unboxing video. Today I will be unboxing the stretch goals for Nemesis, which just came in the mail yesterday after I received an email from Awaken Realms uh, earlier in the week. I believe it was Monday and uh, had received an email saying that the shipping label had been created and was released. And that was uh, Monday from Poland and it actually made it to sunny, well not so sunny California today uh friday and uh so let's go ahead and open it up and uh, i've had the actual core game nemesis for over a year now it's a great game i've played it both solo a couple of times and uh, introduced it to a few friends they really enjoyed it but uh finally after more than a year uh give or take uh the stretch goals finally came so uh hopefully the glare isn't too much but as you can see I'm going to take it out of the cellophane for the very first time right now. Okay, I'll just toss that off to the side. Really neat artwork here. I honestly have no idea what's in the box. I can't even remember what the stretch goals were, so I'm going to be just as surprised as everyone else is here. Okay, looks like we have an expansion manual, which is three, five, seven, about eight pages long, full color, size of the whole box. Uh, looks like we've got some more cards, some more miniatures, uh, an hourglass. Oh, the catanaut it might be in this box, but we'll see. So new traits and characters. Aftermath Components talks about uh, some of the new rooms, it looks like. Um, there's an epilogue mode, research mission mode. But uh, I guess I'll figure out what that is later. This is the game manual for Void Cedars. So, wow, there's an actually another manual, which is eight pages long for the Void Cedars. Oh, wow, look at the artwork there. That's pretty nice. Some gameplay changes, event phase rules, uh, rule summary on the back. I think they do a pretty good job. If I remember correctly, uh, the summary or the, the little guy that you got in the core game was very helpful. Okay, looks like we have some uh, tokens here, some uh, cardboard tokens for some Tourette's, and it uh, looks like some kind of creature here or an egg with uh, tentacles out of it i'm not quite sure what that is question marks on the back side um oh it says down here corrected lair and turret exploration tokens replacement for six mixing tokens from uh from another punch board so maybe these were supposed to come in the original core game and they didn't so here's the replacements for those that's pretty nice Got some new boards. Oh yeah, the Android. I remember the Android and the CEO. Uh, looks like we've got three new room tiles here. We have the server room, the Tourette room, and the alarm room. A couple more uh, punch board tokens. Let's see. We have the bounty hunter. Uh, some more colorful tokens now. Um, we have another room, the crafting room. Let's see, we have the, what is that, the psychologist right there. And, oh, backside turrets and uh, exclamation marks on there. Um, okay. Oh, here, here are the six that are missing. <laughs> There, they had to uh, add those in later on. So that was that, uh, what didn't come from the core game, came from this game. So we have the Void Cedar board. And we have the Convict player. And we have a bunch more tokens here. Some with uh, some colors and mind on there. I have no idea what these are yet. But again, really nice, really nice linen finish. Oh, looks like we have a little bit of a board expansion here. One-sided, really nice finish on there. Heavy-duty cardboard, but it looks like it's a addition, a room addition or a ship addition. We have a spot for um, three rooms. 
we have a tracker from five down to one and then uh, I don't know what that symbol is here, but let's look at what we have as far as the miniatures go. Okay, let's move the silica out. Oh, looks like a, where we, a little cutout where we would put our, uh, uh, our player boards, the new rooms for here. Looks like we got a bunch of more cards. Let's go to the cards first, I guess. Um, boy. Intruder bag development. So it looks like we've got three sets of cards. I don't want to open those up right now because uh, until I sleeve them. So we have some action cards. I'm not quite sure what those are. We could probably look back at the manual here, but you're probably more interested in the miniatures, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, some more item cards, it looks like. We have our timer, little sand timer. Pretty nice. Oh, it's uh, glass inside of a tube. So there's, it's double paint. So we got a little plastic tube and we have glass on the inside. Don't know how long the timer is, maybe, maybe a minute, minute and a half. And so let's get to the miniatures here. All right. So I opted to get the sun drop on there. I didn't want the fully painted ones. So I did pay for the sun drop. Here's one of our first characters here. Let me do a little bit of a close-up. Is that maybe the bounty hunter? And let's see, here's the convict. Kind of has got that mask on him. It almost looks like Bane. Pretty nice. Uh, we have the CEO, the ailing CEO and his droid. I guess that's helping him walk around. Pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure. Is this the psychologist here? I would, uh, I would assume. There you go. Pretty nice. Let's see if we can focus in on her a little bit. Boy, really nice sculpts on these two. Yeah, and let's see, who's this? Maybe this is the psychologist, I don't know. I have to look at the player boards again to figure out who's who here. Wow, really nice texture, just gosh, look at look at this dress right here. There's a, uh, it focuses, oops, sorry, got my, my hand in front of the camera there, but there's actually really fine texture on, on the back of her dress. That's pretty cool, the, how small and detailed that is compared to so many other miniatures that are out there. All right, and let's let's take a look. Everyone wants to see the cat or not, I suppose. Okay, here is our cat. He's actually pretty big for uh, compared to the rest of the. Um, miniatures on there. I'm not quite sure what his purpose is yet. Looks like he's got a little hose on him. Uh, but compared to the other figures, this is quite a large cat, but that's that's okay. It's cute. There. Okay, let's look at some of the xenomorphs here. And what do we have? Oh, wow. Look at this one. Well, there's no base on him, though, so... Uh, all the other figures pretty much look like they have bases, except this one. Pretty terrifying looking. Really nice. Kind of a, got a purplish, almost a, like a pearlescent sheen to him, too. Kind of hard to describe, but it's. It, I think it goes beyond the... Their, I mean, they're getting better and better, for sure, on their uh, sun-dropping technique. I remember when I got Lords of Hellas... I was a little disappointed with that, the first uh, run. And then when I got um, the Nemesis core game I had seen, it improved quite a bit. But uh, these ones even look nicer. Wow. Okay. Look at this baddie. Same thing. Looks like he's uh, hanging. He's got his arms draped over some iron uh, structure there. Tail kind of looks look like a partial partial snake of some sort that's very nice boy i really like it i don't know if it's coming across on camera but it's got a really neat sheen to it uh i wouldn't call it metallic but uh, 
Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, it looks like we have another hero. This is a dog. See, he's more in scale than uh, what the other figures as compared to the cat. So let's bring the cat back up here. Yeah, this is the dog and this cat uh, is just huge compared to that dog. But it looks like what it kind of looks like a German shepherd wearing a vest of some sort. And we have a bunch of other figures here. I won't take them all out. But... Oh, there's the Tourette's. Looks like they're buried underneath here. But it looks like we have a, a Tourette. That's really nice. And then some of our Void Seekers right there. Yeah, really nice. Okay, well, thanks for uh, tuning in with me today. And we'll go ahead and shut this off. There's not too much more left to see here, I don't think. Just different alternate sculpts. Oh, what do we have down here? Yeah, we got more of these egg things down here. That's pretty neat. But all in all, I think you get the gist of what's in there. Yeah, there's a couple more Tourette's buried down there, but we have, you know, a small xenomorph and slightly larger xenomorph. Uh, very nice, very nice. I guess these are the void cedars. Okay, well, thank you once again for tuning in to Pips and Chips. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.